324. Um, it's a conservation biology lab class. You know, when I was younger and thought that I might get back into teaching someday, I promised myself that I would always teach the class that I would that I wanted to take, and this is what I'm getting to do. So I always wanted a hands-on class where I actually was, you know, kind of making a difference. So uh, that's kind of how this class got designed. Well, I'm actually part of the conservation lab. Um, so this is a really exciting day because it's, you know, the culmination of our entire semester's work. Essentially what the students have done is they did a, a biodiversity survey out here. They looked at other urban prairie sites in the area and they had to develop a proposal for the project. So this is the, the outcome of them putting that, that idea together. You know, this site has always been this natural space. It's never going to be developed. It's a, a great area for students to come out and get a little bit of nature here on campus. Um, but, you know, functionally, it still uh, could use a lot of work. I'm hoping that, you know, five years from now when I come back after graduating, that I'll be able to see like a lot more prairie. That'll be a lot more of like a uh, kind of natural-esque ecosystem, like mimicking like what you'd find in like a fully intact prairie ecosystem. This had been a natural prairie before. Other than conservation, there's so many benefits of a natural prairie. It can actually absorb so much water, so it helps mitigate flooding. And the plants here are good for taking CO2 out of the air, just cleaning the air, producing oxygen for us. So there's a lot of benefits that a prairie can have for 